New school being built in Lexington is coming under scrutiny for its bathroom floor plan. The topic was heavily debated at a committee meeting today in Frankfurt. Bodie Brooks explains why a new law is now being proposed. This is a removal of gender from our schools. Under the current construction plan, a majority of bathrooms at the new Mary E. Britton Middle School will have an open plan that looks like this. Floor-to-ceiling stalls with a common area for sinks right along the hallways. Representative Matt Lockett believes it's a design that risks student privacy and creates more anxiety around going to the bathroom. With this new design, I believe that Fayette County Public Schools is attempting to circumvent the requirement of Senate Bill 150. This has nothing to do with Senate Bill 150, but we can see from the, the data that when students are supervised, um, behavior incidents go down. That's, that's just common knowledge. 2023 Senate Bill 150 directed schools to not allow students to use restrooms that are designated for students of a different biological sex. Fayette County School Superintendent Demetrius Liggins says all sets of restrooms are planned to be separated by gender, but some lawmakers say that does nothing for privacy. If you have a girl in her cycle that goes in there and has issues, she has to come out of there covered in blood no privacy to wash her hands. Louisville Representative Tina Bojanowski also teaches elementary school. She says the design is no different than the restrooms designed for staff and concerns about supervision are valid. I walked down the hall on Friday past a fifth grade class using the restroom. A student comes out and says, somebody punched me in the bathroom. As an educator, I would applaud this design. Lockett wants to introduce legislation for 2025 that would require at least 90% of restrooms in a school be designated by gender. The proposal is just that, a proposal, but one you may hear more about when session returns next year. Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.